what's been on my mind Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light Hey darling We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now And get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is- Hey everyone, welcome to The Farm and Pastor's Wife. I am so glad you're here. Listen, today we're having a family dinner. We do these, try to do one a week, but here lately with all of our schedules, it's gotten a little bit harder. So, but tonight we're having one. The only person who's not going to make it tonight is Jessica. She has to work, so she will not be here, but we are doing breakfast for supper. And of course, I'll make my normal sausage gravy for my grandsons because they absolutely love bubble sausage gravy. And I'll make homemade biscuits with my formula ale biscuit mix, so forth. So we will be doing all the normals. I'll be frying up some bacon, but we're also going to do a French toast casserole, not just a French toast casserole, but a honey orange French toast casserole. We're also going to be doing a hash brown casserole along with everything else that I have. So it's going to be a big deal. There's going to be tons of leftovers, but hey, we're doing it. So listen, today in tomorrow's video, I'll probably have on the same outfit unless I can talk myself into going and changing my shirt just so I know how to edit the videos. But if you see me two days in a row with the same shirt, that is why. So we're going to make this orange casserole. So let me gather everything I need. I'll meet you back right here. Before we dive fully into seeing this casserole come together, let's take a look at what we've got Isaac doing on the farm. We had some a job that needed to be done and to be manned. And so let's take a look at what Isaac's doing on the farm. Well, we had a little spot cleared over here at the farm and it's been sitting up here for what six maybe a year yeah and uh today i felt like a power maniac and i decided to burn it or dad told me i could burn it but i was happy to do so all right here we go check it out buddy it's hot i'm a good 30 feet from it right now and it is rolling it's good and dry and a little breeze nothing nothing major but today's a perfect day for burning about 60 degrees out here but right here, I'm, I'm like I said, about 30 feet, and it's 120, 30 degrees right here where I'm at. So she's rolling. We're going to go get the poultry house washer, hook it up to the tractor, put some water in it, because it's about to burn a little grass right here. Now back to the casserole. So the first thing I'm going to do is stick this stick of butter in the microwave and melt it. This is half a cup of butter. I need it melted, and um, then we'll meet back right here. So to this melted butter, I need to add a half a cup of honey, and I'm not sure I have a half a cup of honey, but we are going to see. If not, I do have some maple syrup that we can top it off with. All right, I do need to add a little bit, and I'm just going to add maple syrup. I don't think that will hurt anything, but... um, That's what we're going to do. Let me grab the maple syrup. Well, I think that worked out wonderful. That was exactly what we needed. And I'm just going to pour this right into our butter and being sure to get out every last bit of it okay all right now to this we're going to add in two teaspoons of cinnamon
One, two. And we're going to give this a stir. Okay, so I have a greased nine by 13 dish. Making sure my mic is on. I always do that. <laughs> After the after I after I hit record, then I decide to check. But this is a greased nine by thirteen pan, and we are going to put this honey butter maple syrup cinnamon mixture. <laughs> I probably could have used all maple syrup. I do have some more maple syrup, but uh, the recipe did call for honey, so I did want to follow it pretty closely. All right, so we're going to set this aside briefly. I'm going to actually see if I can squeeze out some more of that honey. There's a little bit left in there. Don't know that I can get it out, but there it comes. There comes a little bit. Okay. All right, so let's set this aside briefly. And I have here a French loaf. Okay, and we are going to slice it up. I'm going to cut the end off. And we're going to use about an inch and a half slices. Oops, that one may be a little, we may go a little thin on it. Okay, and in my pan, I greased the top, I mean the sides and the bottom. So it was greased all the way around. All right. So let me turn this this way. We'll bring our pan this way. And we're just going to evenly lay out our bread. And you could definitely cut this into chunks if you wanted. All right. I think what I'm going to do is cut maybe these. Kind of piece them together. Let's see if we can't get one more in there. All right. Okay. So now we'll set this aside again and we'll start on our egg mixture. Let me move all this out of the way and I'll meet you back right here. All right. So we're using farm fresh eggs and they're a little bit smaller than store bought. So the recipe calls for four eggs, but I'm going to use five. And um, I always break farm fresh eggs in a container or separate just in case one has been missed and gone bad or whatever. So uh, I have a friend who gave me these and I'm super thankful. Let's see. Look at this one. It's the most beautiful blue you've ever seen. Is that not gorgeous? And also with farm fresh eggs, I give them a whiff just to be sure. Here's a nice kind of a pinkish brown one. Another kind of greenish blue. All 
All right, so there is four. And let's go ahead and add number five in. These eggs are amazing. Very good. Okay, so now let me get this tossed away. Oops, heard one hit the ground. All right, so I'm just going to give these a little whisk with the same whisk. I did the cinnamon and butter and all that goodness. All right, so we're going to add in a cup and a fourth of orange juice. So I'm going to use this half a cup measure that I did the honey and maple syrup in. There's a half. There's a whole. And a fourth. All right, let me grab our milk. So if you hear something, some weird noise, they are grinding or working on something outside. <laughs> so we're going to add the same amount of milk, about a cup and a fourth. One. There's a cup. And a fourth. All right. We're going to add a pinch of salt. We're going to add about a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. I'm actually going to grab some vanilla. It doesn't call for vanilla, but I think we're going to need it. Or I just think I would like it better if it had a little bit of vanilla. I know we have the orange flavor, but um, I think vanilla will be fine with it. I'm going in with a fourth of a cup of granulated sugar. Let me grab the vanilla real quick. We're going in with just a splash of vanilla. We're going to, I grated a, an orange and um, I'm just using the entire peel of that orange that I grated. Okay. And we're going to give that a whisk. I'm going to go get a um, silicone spatula and the bowl that I had the honey and, and sugar and I mean the honey and uh, butter and cinnamon. I'm actually going to scrape out any leftover stuff in that into this. There might be just a little bit. There's really not that much so I'm not actually going to worry about it. But here we go. So now let me just make sure I've got everything I needed. Yep. All right, we're going to bring our bread mixture back over, and we're going to pour this over our bread mixture. Whoops. I'm splattering it. All right, and this is going to go sit in the refrigerator for a little bit and it's going to hang out look you can see those orange bits on the on the bread I don't know if you guys can see that isn't that beautiful okay so this is I'm going to wrap this with some saran, saran wrap it's going to go in the refrigerator and if I was making this for breakfast this is breakfast for supper but if I was making it for breakfast we would make it uh, at night, let it sit in the refrigerator overnight. But since we're having it tonight, I'm making it this morning. We're going to stick it in the refrigerator and it'll be okay till we get ready to fix it. So I'll see you back when it's time to bake it. Okay, everybody, the casserole is ready to go in the oven, except for I want to drizzle it with a little bit of melted butter. And I'm just going to drizzle just a little bit over it. This is about a half a stick, about a quarter of a cup. And then on top of that butter, 
I've got a, two or three tablespoons of just granulated sugar that we're going to sprinkle on top. Okay, I'm just going to sprinkle away and I'll s stick this in a 350 degree of oops, 350 degree oven for about um, 50 minutes. I'm going to finish sprinkling the sugar and I'll see you when it comes out of the oven. All right, Judah's going to eat the French toast casserole and let us know what he thinks of that. What do you think, buddy? <laughs> Is it that good? Does it need syrup? Two thumbs up. Wow. Levi's favorite thing is Bubbles applesauce. Oh, thumbs up. Two thumbs up and a fork up. Yay. All right. So Bryant's going to taste test the uh, French toast casserole. We're going to see what he thinks of that. With syrup. With maple syrup, pure maple syrup on it. Here we go. I like the thickness of it. Usually French toast is thin. Ready? Yep, I'm ready. Oh, that's delicious. Is it good? Oh, that's really good. Can you taste the orange in it? Um, Who's the applesauce? I don't know that I can taste the orange, but it's, the texture is good. It's not soggy. It's really yep, good. Really good. Okay, does everybody else tasted it? I yep. can taste the orange. You, you can taste orange? It's, you got the orange? Yeah, I got the orange. It's good. Great flavor. Very good. Hey. All right. So everyone, I had to come in the bathroom <clears throat> to get a little peace and quiet to talk to you guys. I am keeping two little boys today and the TV's blaring, they're laughing. And so anyway, I came in here just so I could talk to you guys. That casserole was absolutely amazing. Amazing. You need to try it. It is an elevated French toast. Bryant says he loves it, that I could, that could be my forever French toast type casserole. So it was very, very good. I actually did not taste it until the next day after we had it for supper and it was so good. That whatever you put at the bottom, that honey and uh, butter and stuff that we put down on the bottom, oh my goodness, it was so good. And it just gave it just, oh, it was so good. And the orange was perfect. So definitely try this it's very um, reminiscent of something you would get at a bed and breakfast it is it's an elevated French toast it was so good so be sure to give it a try hey guys thank you so much for joining me I appreciate it so very much and remember if the grease is hot enough you can fry anything bye y'all